I never end up in the center of the picture, do I? I have the WFMU bumper sticker on top of my head. Hi there, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's hump day. Hope you're humping. It is 6.03 p.m., which means today did not turn out as I had planned. 62 degrees. Uh, remember how I was going to show up at 7.30 and go to that product preview and then be zombified by the time I did this for you sometime after 4? I uh, didn't make it. Quite make it at 7.30, so. So I'm here now, late. And actually, I... I really need to go to the grocery store and buy some groceries. What's up, sideburns? So, yeah, it's going to be a late night for me, I guess. Which is weird, you know, I have another 7.30 tomorrow. Will I miss that one, too? I don't know. Yesterday I had some time to kill, so I went to the post office after the lobby had closed. So all they were selling, they weren't even selling, they don't even sell books of stamps in that machine anymore. They print their own. You have to get at least three. Look, it's got Mr. Zip on it. Remember Mr. Zip? He's so cute. I had to put one of these on my envelope. So you put it on, you kind of wrap it around, and then somehow it mails. What an age we live in. I got two of them because I had to buy three, and I only needed one. So what I've learned... Go to the post office when the lobby is open and you can actually get a real book of stamps. Because I don't like this future stamps printing on a sticker with some kind of code thing. Yesterday, when I also did not stay at the lobby, the P.O. box had a, a check in it. A long time ago, on one of those rare nights when I was watching uh, TNA Impact, I want to say it was back when it was on Saturdays. That's how long ago it was. One of those ads came by that said, join our class action suit if you've had a, ever had a credit card and get your part in a millions of dollars of settlement. And I was like, oh, okay. Couldn't hurt. So I finally got a, my piece of the settlement. $209.75. Which is about what they told me I would expect to get about 200 bucks. It turns out my, my settlement amount was $443. And then my lawyers got 45% of it. And then there were some case expenses. And then there was like some making copies charges. And I don't know what long distance was because they never called me. They only ever sent email. But there was all this and that, printing the check, court fees, this and that. That's how it comes out to two, just under 210 but it ain't chump change, and it's more than nothing, and all I had to do was fill out a form online, and I didn't even give them my social security number, which they kind of wanted. All I did was say, yes, I swear or affirm that during the dates mentioned, I had at least one credit card. And I don't know what TransUnion did to get involved in this class action lawsuit. And... Uh, no information in here either. So I really should deposit this thing. So now I got 200 bucks to blow on something. Just in time because I have a big uh, anniversary coming up. Which I kind of have forgotten about. I don't know if the same can be said for Kim. My anniversary is in one week. It's one week from today. No, it's not. It's one week from Thursday. I remember what day I got married. It's on the inside of my ring. October 4th, 10 4, good buddy. So we better have a plan. It'll probably involve a very nice meal. It will probably involve sushi. It might involve steak. I guess it depends what kind of mood we're in. But we had the discussion previously in one of these videos what do you do for the ninth anniversary? And it turned out to be like, you know, not a real anniversary. You just wait for the 10th. <sighs> so, another anniversary, speaking of anniversaries, yesterday, 
this would have been a good thing to say yesterday, but I got kind of worked up about the Packers and before I knew my time was up. But yesterday, September 25th, was the five-year anniversary of me joining Twitter. Can you believe it? September 5th, 2007. And in like my first 10 months of Twitter, I tweeted maybe four or five times. So clearly I've caught up since then. Uh, today I'm up to 10,040 or whatever it is. Mostly based on tweets during Timberwolves basketball games and or WWE Monday Night Raw. In that time, I have amassed 555 followers. Five-sixths of a devil. It goes up and down by one or two each day. But doesn't generally... Well, generally, eventually, it very slowly goes up. But I was just happy to get to 500. It's almost totally due to Grantland's masked man reminding people that I existed, and then I would get a couple dozen followers out of it each time. That doesn't happen as much anymore. I think everybody who would have followed me from such a mention is already doing so. So now i got to find some other gimmick to sucker people into following me. Throwing pennies at Twitter is uh, not helping. As far as I can tell. On the subject of 10,000 tweets, this is a tweet from last week that I forgot to answer. It wasn't even a tweet. It was a comment. A comment on YouTube from Otto, frequent YouTube commenter, who wanted me to know that I have just over three times the number of tweets that he has. And still more than double if you add up all my accounts. Fortunately, I only have the one account. I have... Another account that has zero tweets on it that I got to hold KZM, which if you know the story, I originally was KZM, and then sometime in 09, talked Twitter into finally handing over CRZ because uh, the girl who had it tweeted twice and then never did anything for 18 months while I had the domain name and the trademark and needed it. I needed to be CRZ. I don't know why I wasn't CRZ to begin with, unless the the girl in Asia had uh, taken that one earlier. And she must have, because that would have been my first choice, even in 07. I don't know if that means that I tweet too much, or Otto doesn't tweet enough. I've noticed, though, that when Otto tweets, he tends to tweet about stuff that he's watching on TV. But for him, Otto, that's stuff that everyone else watched two or three days ago. So you kind of... Time shifting doesn't work as well for tweets as it does for videotape. I'm sorry, DVR. None of us use videotape anymore, right? But that's my way of saying, I read these comments. And I occasionally respond to them, although sometimes it takes me a week. He left that a week ago. Because a week ago is when we were talking about 10,000 tweets. Dom tweeted me, who probably doesn't watch these videos, but he wanted me to remind everyone that next month is the 10th anniversary of my last Raw recap. Yes and no. It's the, it's the 10th anniversary of the last one I did for Slash Wrestling. Wow, has it been 10 years since I've stopped updating Slash Wrestling? I should do something special and freak everybody out. Won't happen too lazy. Uh, serious businessman, who is probably on the W, and I should probably figure out... Nah, it doesn't matter. But he asks, did you write down on the calendar or what? No. A couple years ago, there was a, a Twitter account that would wish you a happy Twitversary. And they had data on when everybody started. And actually, you can look up your starting date, like when did I join Twitter.com or something like that. You know, if you put that in Google, it'll come up. So somewhere along the line, I remembered it was sometime around this time. And sometime in September, I did look it up to be sure, and it was the 25th. And I almost missed it, but I didn't, because you have to commemorate it, because everybody cares about stuff like that. That's what Twitter's about, as far as I know. Uh, my 10 minutes is up. Did I have anything else I needed to say? There was a comment from Greg. Let's, let's knock it out. The crappy school in Brunswick, Maine is pronounced Bowden and spelled Bowdoin. Yeah, dumb. Bowden. Is it like Odin? I hope so. Otherwise, your diacriticals are all screwed up. My 10 minutes is up. I'm going to go to the grocery store, and then I'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Thanks for watching. Bye.